Here, reality is being simulated because dramatic situations like these keep on occurring on German roads. On the test track in Neuburg on the Danube, with its assistance systems, Audi is working to prevent accidents. We're using this special testing equipment because our systems react to real people and real vehicles. So, we need test equipment that comes very close to reality. The first test scenario. The red A4 wants to turn left. The driver doesn't notice the car approaching him. But the camera in the windscreen and the two radar sensors in the front initiate immediate braking. The turn-off assistant supports the driver during turn-off manoeuvres from stationary or while moving at speeds of up to 10 km per hour. Another danger scenario. The driver is briefly distracted in city traffic and overlooks a car directly in front of him. This pre-sense test scenario is standard across all car makers and NCAP also uses it. The testers do it using a so-called balloon car. Via the camera and the radar sensors, the approaching red car recognises the danger of impact. Even if a car suddenly blocks the road, the pre-sent city assistance system is active up to 85 km per hour in the tour package. And with stationary obstacles, complete accident prevention is possible up to 40 km per hour. The driver is still supposed to actively drive the vehicle, but if he gets distracted for whatever reason, this system is there and can avoid accidents. Every driver's nightmare. A child crosses the street, oblivious of the traffic. In this test, a sensor transmits a signal which sends the dummy out across the street just as the car is approaching. Since the child emerges from behind a parked car, the driver only sees it at the last moment. But the front camera recognizes from a distance of 100 meters that a person is crossing the street. In a split second, pre-sense city triggers an action. A warning signal appears in the display. The driver feels slight pressure on the brakes. If he doesn't brake himself at this point, the car stops all by itself. Currently, under system conditions, we can avoid accidents up to 40 km per hour. In the future, we want to increase the speed threshold and avoid accidents up to 60 and even 80 km per hour. In most Audi models in the European and US markets, pre-sense city already comes as standard. April 2017. Experts from all over the world gather together and discuss the societal effects of artificial intelligence. This is the BEYOND initiative, brought to life by Audi. We at BEYOND are convinced that artificial intelligence will fundamentally change the way we live and the way we work. For the past two years, BEYOND has been bringing international artificial intelligence experts from science and business together. One of the focal points, the ethical and legal questions surrounding autonomous driving. Artificial intelligence is a key element in autonomous driving. When in the future, the car makes independent decisions in a growing amount of situations, the fundamental societal questions arise. With autonomous vehicles, I'm not worried about regulation, I'm not worried about the insurance or the technology. The, the main hurdle that I see is public acceptance because people are going to feel so much more strongly about accidents when they're caused by a machine rather than a human in this context. Today's systems learn through the simulation of many different scenarios. The algorithms tested in these varied situations are then programmed into the cars. The BEYOND experts, however, are already thinking further ahead. Today, uh, we think we made the algorithms on our own so we understand each action performed by the vehicle. And later on, we have to just see and learn what the vehicle does in which kind of situation and somehow sign it off. How do we manage such questions? How can we ensure that the systems behave according to our values? Now gives us the chance to set a benchmark to which we can refer in a year, five, ten years, just to say, well, what actually has changed? Are we comfortable with where we're going? Are we on the path that we thought we should be? But the Beyond Initiative does not only consider ethical questions, but also the rigorous legal framework. Are we going to have a legal framework that provides certainty and therefore stability 
to an industry that needs to invest an enormous amount of money and energy in this direction. So social accessibility and legal framework, those are two forces that, if in place, they will make driverless cars a real possibility for the future and therefore all the benefits that come with them. Big changes are also on the way for the working environment within Audi and within the entire society. I would say artificial intelligence will impact the whole company from product development within the smart factory, how we deal with business, how we interact and connect with our customers. So we have to take it very serious. People at Audi are already working with robots and artificial intelligence will change work substantially. The point of all my work is that I think we're looking at a big disruption that we're going to have to figure out what to do about, how to adapt about it. And uh, this is a critically important discussion. It starts in a place like this where we can, we can get a group of people together that, that are interested in um, this issue and, and making sure that it, it works out in a positive way. The transformation of the workplace and the ethical discussion surrounding autonomous driving, the Beyond Initiative, founded by Audi, will work intensively on these aspects of our future. The next step for the initiative is to get politicians around the table and to drive forward cooperation and research, as well as the public discourse. We really need to, to educate the public. You know, we need to make them understand what's happening here. It is really important to have conversations early um, and, and try and address some of the issues before they come up. The Beyond Initiative is convinced Wherever artificial intelligence leads is dependent on us and the ways in which we use the technological possibilities. Considered, but in principle, optimistic.